Oh my goodness. Made it together in time again. So what did we do last time? I think we, we played Sun Empire, Legion of Dusk, and Azorius Ascension. Cost 20 blue or red spells. Do Oh, here we go. Is it spell weaving? I will click to edit. But you know what? I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to play without even looking. If you're able to cast a spell without paying its without paying its mana cost, and there's an X in that cost, X must be zero. Hmm. Now I don't want to abandon. Let me, uh, let me get in. Hello? Magic the Gathering Arena? What is going on? Ugh, this game is junk. Matchmaking failure. It is a beta, I suppose. Try again. When you can't decide which spell to cast, play that lets you spend as much of your available mana as possible is generally better. Okay. Uh, three islands for five mountain is too much, but riddle form is amazing. Uh, I think uh, that's too much mana. And it gives me nothing to do. Until the second or third turn. That's better? Hail strike. Do I need the extra mountain? No, I want an island. Hello. Hazard. The gain control of total creature with converted mana cost X. But as I understand it, if he costs like a three mana cost, I would need five. Five mana to cost that. Field of Ruin, add colorless, sacrifice Field of Ruin, destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it into the battlefield, field and shuffles their library. The Arguel's Blood Fast. Pay two life, draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have five or less life, you may transform. Okay. About, okay, well, that's obviously a, a late game thing I can cost. Blood water entity. I don't think about Field of Ruin. Each player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it onto the battlefield, and shuffles their library. He doesn't look field of ruin. Labyrinth Guardian. When Labyrinth Guardian becomes a target of a spell, sacrifice it. And it can be embalmed as well. Field of ruin. So, red black he's running. Does he have any counters with. Shouldn't. Red and black. We can maybe zap it. Basically the Warlock power. Uh, that other card game that's so popular, what I can't think of its name right now. If you have five less life, you may transform all your blood fast. You sacrifice a creature, gain life equal to... Well, wow. Yeah, I need to get rid of that eventually if I can. 
Pocket Pen reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land. So discards that card, so... I don't... No. Put... Right, never mind. Hieroglyphic Elimination. Four mana, so I can't cast the two card draw. Just get the Blood Water Entity down and just start chipping away. Oh sweet, bonus. I like this bit of early tempo that I've got. Especially because he, he, that's going to make him think twice about drawing cards. It does mean he's going to transform it to be able to sacrifice creatures. It's that great, especially if he has no board presence. You know, if I'm pressuring him and he doesn't have board presence, then sacrificing whatever he had on the board to give him life doesn't necessarily help him. That would be good if you get a bunch of like multi summons tokens and stuff, and you can just sacrifice the tokens to beef up your health. That seems like a bit of a roundabout way of getting health. Whereas these black decks have so much lifelink in them, surely that's better. That's fine, buddy. Keep, uh, keep sacrificing your life. Lord of the Creature. I can Magma Spray something. Gale Strike. Return target tapped creature to its owner's hand. I can even cast it on myself. It could be good. Is it an instant? It is. So, like, if he wants to zap something, maybe I can cast Gale Strike just to pull it back into my hand. So, Sweltering Suns deal 3 damage to each creature. Let, let's try Gale Strike now on the Blood Water Entity to pull it back into our hand before it gets killed by Sweltering Suns. Think it works that way? I'm not sure. That was actually great. So that saved the Blood Water Entity. And I'll get Gale Strike back when I cast Blood Water Entity again. Okay, that that's pretty cool. That's a nice little bit of energy there. I must be raging. Oh, blue decks. <laughs> They're the worst, aren't they? Blue deck bullshit. I think I, I can't cast it, I can just cast play, uh, I can uh, use the embalm cast, which is four. But now I'm starting to fall badly behind on my mana. I feel like maybe I want to use Field of Ruin to kill his... Mm. Oriel to War. If he destroys one of my lands, and then uses Field of War to... Field of Ruin to destroy the other one, I've got huge problems. So sacrifice field of ruin, destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. I feel like that suits me because I don't want him to use memorial for more. And I need more basic uh more basic mana. But where'd the mana go? I thought I'd get the, the mana. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. I need one more mana than I can cast Hieroglyphic Elimination. That's very awkward. Enigma Drake on the next turn at least. Number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard, which is just... None. That'll be a zero four. Got double my mana. Oh, that sucks. Spreading rot. Can I? I don't have any counters. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Oh, fucking mana. Come on. I could just cycle it. The cycle means it goes, it goes into the graveyard. It doesn't go into... I just hold on for one more turn. I get one more mana, then I can draw two cards.
I think it is memorial to Warbeck. Oh, because it just counts as a land. Okay, so my field of ruin did like nothing. It just switched my field of ruin to an island. I don't think what the usefulness of field of ruin is then. Each player searches their library for a basic land card. Puts a oh right, okay, so Okay, now he's gonna start blowing up my land. Okay, fuck this guy, seriously. Ugh. Are you kidding me? I <laughs> need give me mana, please. Why'd they go to the- oh, because I had too many cards. I thought I could cast that because it was blue. <sighs> Learning a lot to this game. A lot of hard, hard lessons. Man, if I had not been so mana tapped, I, I, I should have been able to essence scatter. Never seen water, no fire, no steel. This card's a card. What's helping me the least here? Probably... Pricing melody? I have no... I have no fucking mana for cost. That worth the... Give me some land! Come on! Fucking hell, finally. So, six, seven, eight. Eight to three mana. I don't want to sound like negative nearly here, but that doesn't look good, does it, boys? What does this bullshit do? Each opponent discards a card and loses two life. Once you gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap it, it gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice it at the beginning, oh my word. And now this is not destroying my land. This is just going to make me. I should just. I should just concede. This is fucking no hopeless. Fire, no steel. Now I've got to discard another card. I'm never going to be able to cast Cryptic Serpents. I know as well. I can cast like nothing. I'm just going to see this through to the end just to suffer. So each. Oh, look at that. No fire. Each opponent no loses steel. life equal to the number of cards in their graveyard. Well, this is miserable. This is absolutely miserable. Primal Amulet. Instant and sorcery spells cost one less. Uh, oh, wow. This is just the most AIDS deck I've ever played against. He's <laughs> just destroying all my land all the time. Uh, and I've got completely mana tapped. On the plus side, there's 39 cards, so like another 25 of those must be land. Seven, eight, nine, nine to three. <laughs> Triple my mana. He's gonna sacrifice and destroy him. <laughs> Out of principle, I'm not gonna concede. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep no playing. Fire. No steel. <laughs> oh my word. And then, oh, actually, he can just kill me now. He can just activate. There you go. Each opponent loses life equal to number of cards. He's got eight, so he'll survive. I won't. I'll take 14 damage. Okay, we're nearly done. Another problem with that minute? Wow. No fire, no steel. Why didn't he just finish us there? He's, he's probably having too much fun just making me miserable. He could have got minus eight. Each opponent loses life. Oh, maybe he didn't want to take it down to zero, which would, I think, remove it. Hour of Extinction. 
I can't do shit. Now you should just finish it with, uh, there you go. I am the hand. You are the anger. Well. That was absolutely miserable. Let's do it again. Land destruction. Just why? Yeah, <laughs> just oh, that's the worst. And then land destruction on top of on top of running out of on, on what's the term for not getting mana? Mana tat. Cash baller. What's up, cash baller? Hello. Let's see, so we got three mountains. Counter non-creature spell. Three cost. That's nice. That's a nice opening, and I'm gonna keep that. That what? White black. Okay. At least we're not getting mana flooded, uh, mana starved this time. Okay, so I think the term mana tapped is for not getting any, and mana flooded is getting too much mana. How little I know about this game. Can I. Gate? No. Like a lightning strike, but. Little creature, my little blood water entity can actually stop these things. It's annoying that I have to click block and allow damage through just because I don't have anything to block with. So, like, what's the point? Hour of Devastation. All creatures lose indestructible. Hour of Devastation deals 5 damage to each creature and each non-Bolus planeswalker. What the fuck is Bolus? Yes, I can block now with this nerd. He will have some exile and removal in the black-white game there. Hey, he's a lieutenant. Ugh. I have to accept that damage. I don't want to. I don't want to have my blood water entity die. That tart, so I can zap the, the legion lieutenant on the next turn. Now he's not going to have any spell counter, is he? I think so. Oh, again, I got that wrong. I shouldn't have attacked there. What I should have done was wait for him to attack with it with that, then block with the 2 2 blood water. Lightning strikes something else, which buffs up the blood water to make. Ah! Oh. Okay. I think. Probably. That goes back down to a 2 2. Maybe I should have attacked there as well. Gotta think. Gotta think. I'm not thinking like a blue player. What uh, the fuck is that? Step of dusk. When it enters the battlefield, you draw X cards and you lose X life. Number of vampires you control. Okay. Okay, that maybe wasn't right. I should have hung on to cancel and negate. Ugh. I just like, I was even thinking I just threw down something onto the board for some board presence, but okay. mentally I've got to switch up the way I think about 
how to play blue clearly. Non uh, three one one Yena. That's a sorcery. Non target on yeah, we'll counter that. That would have sucked. It would have been three yeah, one one. So I already killed the again. Lieutenant, which would have made them two twos. Ooh, I don't feel good about this. Each creature and each non bolus play. Magmaroth. 5-5 five, five for 4. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Magmaroth. If you cast a non-creature spell, remove the counter from Magmaroth. Okay. But that's like all my mana. It's a 4-4 four, four unless I cast a spell. A non-creature spell. Uh, I think I'll get some flying damage through. Keep chipping away at him. I don't want him to have a health advantage because then he can use all sorts of life tappy top skills. Boost his life. I don't want that. Maybe the play was... Um, Hour of Devastation. He's got a huge board now. Shouldn't have thrown this stuff down. Upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one counter. Yep, fine. Uh... I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not. Oh no, that was stupid. He's just going to block... Oh, he can't block it. Do you have any flyers? Vampire Soldier. Uh, that's all going to come down to picking the right time to cast Hour of Devastation. I really shouldn't have casted Magmaroth. Okay, again, lessons learnt. All good lessons learnt. Foreigner of the Legion. Search your library for a vampire card, reveal it, shuffle, another vampire under control, gets 1-1, one, one, land of turn, okay. Uh, I'm going to let that go through. I'm, I'm going to let him load his board because I'm just going to out of the station everything. Once he plays that again, then I'll R of Devastation. Which is going to suck, because I'm going to waste everything. Yes, that's fine. Keep loading your board. Go for it. What's he doing? Oh, he's choosing the, who's, who to buff up. 6-6, six, six, Champion of Dusk. Ouchie. That's a sorcery, so I can't cast it now. I think it's over. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Um, so... Eight's gonna get through. I might as well stop the, the magma rock. Because we're gonna hour of devastation anyway. It's just gonna stop the damage from getting through. I really hope that he can't counter hour of devastation. We both take 5 damage though, which hurts for me, but it does wipe his board at least. What does that mean for us? Is that, overall, that's obviously good for us because we've staved off the next turn, but he's got so many of these little fucks. 
Uh, two white white vampire creatures take counter target spell. I, I want to counter the, the Dusk Legion Lieutenant because I can block with Labyrinth, the, the embalmed Labyrinth Guardian. That's the dude I need to stop. We're not out of this yet, but we're by no means ahead. Oh, press off. Yeah, two life though. There's a Seeker of Insight. Draw a card. They discard a card. Act as ability only if you've cast a non-creature spell. Okay, so it's just a blocker. We have got problems, friends. In Destiny. Uh, as it enters, choose a creature type. Creatures you control, gain 1 1. Have vigilance. Oh my god. Oh my word. Dash baller. I think he's got us. So, in the next game with this deck, I'm just going to focus on trying to get my synergies. I'm going to slow down my play. I'll just accept the defeat. Well played, sir. I want to slow down the pace at which I'm playing and pay more attention to, to potential synergies. I missed a bunch of synergies there. And it's clear that a lot of the spells interact with the creatures. That seems to be the whole gimmick of the deck, so... I must try to bait in people to block when they shouldn't be blocking. Uh, and then cast instant spells. Is it of the mindful? Enters the battlefield tapped. Desert fervent. Got to cancel. No, I've got no, no early game creatures or anything. Oh, that's awful. I can't mulligan again though. I can just get oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, no. Uh. That, I can at least zap something on turn two. I suppose I'll keep that at the top. I think I have to hang on to Hieroglyphic Illumination because on turn four at least I can draw two cards. Sazan, three by three, eh? Green. But if this costs, if this counts as an instant, I could cycle it, put it into the graveyard, and then pull it out with that little dragon that pulls things out from the graveyard when you cast it. Okay, that's the lightning strike we needed. You know what? I'm going to cycle this thing. Just because, I mean, it'll take two more turns before I can get two cards. I'll get one now, then two in two turns' time. Okay, so we've got a Magma Spray in an instant. We can zap whatever he tries to assert board control with. That's uh, a Merfolk deck. Whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on target Merfolk you control. Seems like a waste to Magma Spray it. I, I, can't, I can't allow him to establish board control. And I actually, I actually want uh, spells in my graveyard because that interacts with a lot of my creatures. Labyrinth Guardian, good. Board Presence. This is a really good card. A 2-3 for 2 and you can embalm it. That's awesome. Is that blue? Green? Oh yes, green blue is the Murphy, of course. Like there, I shouldn't have to click one attack. Uh, so it's a flash. 
Second of turn. Okay. Does that mean he can block with it? When Swift Warden enters the battlefield, target Murfolk gains Hexproof. Am I just going to Lightning Strike it? Let's just Lightning Strike it. I want to see if I can just maintain board control. I've got how many spells? One, two, three in my graveyard. So if I pull that little drake that has 0 and 4, it'll be a 3 and 4. Fiery Cannonade. Two damage to each non-pirate. So that's two damage to Labyrinth Guardian as well. But that's great for us because the Merfolk are all like 1-1s one and so 2-2s. Two when it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. It loses all ability at the end of turn. Yeah, that's fine. I want to wait till he loads his board a bit and then I'll cast Fiery Cannonade. But now I'm wishing I'd kept that hieroglyphic card. Okay, when Merfolk in control deals damage to the player, draw a card. And this is... You too, that won't kill it. Yeah, fine. I can't kill that with the fiery cannonade. There goes my board presence I was talking about. That gives him card draw. That's nice for him. Serpent, two mana shelt. It's far. It's an instant. So I'm gonna attack with Labyrinth Guardian. And then if he blocks with the Seafloor Oracle, then I can fiery cannonade. He shouldn't be able to counter because he's got. Oh, let's it through. Okay. Hmm. This costs one less to cast for each instant and sorcery in your graveyard. Look, I've got. Oh, it's because I'm I'm short of one blue. That's why I've had another island. As I thought I've got like three instant and sorceries. I should be able to. I'm gonna accept the, f the four damage. I don't want, I, I keep thinking I can get more out of Fiery Cannon Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta do something about that. He's getting such value out of this card. Ugh, damn it. I really wish he was silly enough to block the Seafloor Oracle with the Guardian. Block the Guardian with the Oracle. Whenever you cast a Merfolk spell, it creates a 1-1 one, one blue Merfolk at you with, with Hexproof. That's an enchantment, and I can't counter the enchantment. Uh, I think I can kill it with an Abrade. Now, Abrade destroys artifacts, but do enchantments count as artifacts? Humana's Speaker. Hexproof, does that mean it's immune to Fiery Cannonade? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to Fiery Cannonade just to get rid of that. No, these two. Let's see if this. If, go, if Hexproof goes through there. It does! But. I feel like we got value there. Just wish I could have got the Labyrinth to kill the Seafloor Oracle and then come back. Ugh, what is this bullshit? Uh, he's got such a nice card draw in the Merfolk deck. Okay, sweet. So that'll be a 4-4 flying. That's awesome. 
can't believe I'm, I'm suffering for island so much. I've got five mountains and only one island. Four four flying is great. What kind of removal is he gonna have in in blue and green? He could have cancels, but he doesn't cast them. I mean, he certainly would have cancelled that if he could. I think. I think the plan is to just keep chipping away with the Enigma Drake and then just block with the Labyrinth Guardian. Ooh, what, how did that get 4 4? I don't want to sacrifice my Enigma Drake. So a desert creature gets 1 1 till end of turn. Okay. So that will go back to a 1 1. I'm very glad I didn't block there, that would have been a waste. Okay, so that was Hashem Oasis. Oh, piss off with you. Dream Will, instant. Counter target spell unless the controller pays. Move the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. I think I've got to do that. Because if I can get another fiery cannonade, that'll help us. Dull Swindle. Counter target spell. Create X colorless creature token artifacts where X is that spell's converted mana cost. But I can't cast that. Pull from tomorrow. Honestly, I might just, <laughs> I might just pull the island. Because that's going to allow me to cast Cryptic Serpent. And I've been suffering for a second, uh, second island. Man, so not worth. I can hit him for five and then attack me with just a bunch of twos and ones. We are keeping pace with him with hit points, but he's got much better board presence. Not surprising. Little irritating little merfolk. If I can just pull another fiery cannonade, or that one little dragon that allows me to pull a spell from my graveyard back into my hand, that could win us the game. Oh. What is this bullshit? Tap another untapped merfolk. Can't be blocked. Oh, Jesus. Tap three untapped merfolk. Tap five a draw card. Okay. Put a one-one counter. Oh, he's really going to troll. Okay. Just block one of the silver gills. One time, multi-block. Ugh, three cards for him. I like his Merfolk deck. I can't wait to play it. It looks cool. Tapped five, untapped Merfolk. So one, two, three, four, five. He can just each turn just keep giving them plus one. Which puts us on a really bad timer. Maybe if I can... Oh, I thought the Serpent was flying. No. If this was flying, maybe we could have done something, but... Doesn't look good. But also notice how much slower the game pace is when you're playing this this blue deck. Got hella card draw in this Murfolk deck. He's got me on the next turn. Uh, put instant sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library. Oh shit, so I can cast a fiery cannonade on the next turn, but that doesn't help us now. action yeah. or what maybe please oh god can i survive another turn i don't think i can block three of them one two six blocked so one two three four will get through we might be able to do it but i don't think blood water entity can block he just puts a no he put a counter on everybody but I, that's awesome i can still wipe all of this fiery cannonade if he counters Fiery Cannonade, I'm going to cry. We've still got serious problems here, though.
Uh, he gets to attack. Okay, rip. Rip us. Rip all of us. He got us. Well played, sir. Where's well played? Man, game is hard. Game is hard, so that's... We went 0-3 with Is It Spellweaving. Not surprising. I think I get the impression that the blue decks are the ones that require the most experience. Like, the simpler... I found the Sun Empire to be a lot more simple. Just get cards down, get them to... Get creatures down, get them to synergize. There's a lot more to Is It Spellweaving. That's very cool, though. It's just making me realize how much more I have to learn, which is kind of exciting. I dig it. Boris. Boris Assault. Oh, okay, so... That one card that said to all non-Boris Planeswalkers, so... I'm guessing this has a Planeswalker in it. And then that card would deal everybody except this Planeswalker from this. Okay, cool. Interesting. Lots to learn. Hope that wasn't too brutal for you guys to watch. <laughs> Can I... buy a card pack, maybe? Three of them. Open some packs. Uh, Spore Crown Thalid. Each creature you control that's a fungus gets 1-1. One, one. That's pretty cool. Mythic Rare Wild Card. Sage of Latinam. Sacrifice. Draw a card. That... Uh, okay. So that's a creature. I thought if that's an instant that could be cool. So you can like counter someone destroying your artifact. But... A sacrifice and artifact. Oh, well, okay, so if I can destroy an opponent's artifact, that's actually gigantic. Battle of Gorgia. Four cost to kick. It was kicked in the battlefield with three. Wow, then it's a 7-7 seven, seven if you pay eight mana for it. All the cavalry, create two white knights with vigilance. That's pretty cool. Urban strike. Plus one and haste and first strike. Instant, That that's awesome. Rescue. Turn target permanent you control to its owner's hand. That's also great. If something's about to get killed. Caligo Skinwitch. When Caligo Skinwitch enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, each opponent discards two cards. That doesn't sound great. You just have to pay an extra four mana to be able to make both. Oh, each opponent. Okay, so it makes your opponent discard two. That's actually better than I thought it would make me discard as well. Time of Ice, yep, we're familiar with that. Peshaw, Ancestor's Apostle, the Bird Cleric. Flying, nice. Whenever you cast a Historic Spell, return target creature card with converted mana three or less from your graveyard. That's pretty cool. Excavation Elephant. Return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. That's also awesome. Top three cards your library. You may reveal a creature or land card and put that into your hand. The rest on the body library in the order. Okay, that's and it's only at one cost, that's nice. Broken bond, destroy target artifact. I love artifact destruction. Or enchantment, that's awesome. That is so good. Only two costs. That is an incredible card. I gotta add that to my green decks. Blood tallow candle. My creature gets five five. Oh sweet. That's a six cost for minus five damage basically. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Dog Bargain deals two damage to you. Its cost seems quite high considering that you're taking damage as well. Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. A frog spirit, 9-3. Evra, Halkion Witness, Lifelink 4-4. Four, four. So exchange your life total with Evra Halcom. Oh wow! So if you pull her early and you've got like 20 hit points, you can give her 20 hit points. No, but that'll give you four then. Uh -huh. Venus Torment. Deals two damage to each opponent and you gain two life, so that's just minus two from your opponent. Create an XX Black Nightmare Horror Creature Token where X is half your life total. Round it up. X damage to you. Hmm. 
Modalian Arcanus. Spend this mana only to cast Incinal Sorcery. Okay, that's, mm. That Omnivore. These Thalids fungus look interesting. Sacrifice another creature. That Omnivore gets 2-2 two -two at the end of turn. If a Sepperling was sacrificed as well, you gain 2 life. That's pretty cool. Mammoth Spider. Yeah, it has a reach. I, I remember when I used to play uh, Magic 2014, there was the green deck that had spiders with a reach, which are pretty cool. A 3-5. Okay, for 5, that's expensive. But reach is good, though. Exile, target creature, or enchantment. 5 cost. Yeah. That was, a rough, that was a rough episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I learned a lot, and I'm very, I'm very, very keen to play this this, this deck again. Next, we, we're going to play something that helps us get. Uh, it's just a win bonus. Okay, I don't have any, I don't have any actual um, quests right now. We might do River Heralds or any of the ones we haven't done. Boris Assault looks super interesting. Bulgari Exploration. We'll think about it. Okay, friend, thanks for watching. This is Magic the Gathering. I'm bad at it, but I'm learning. See you guys next time.